Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Python website with Django on an open light speed server that is running CyberPanel. So let's go ahead and get right on into it here. I'm gonna log into uh, my CyberPanel admin dashboard here. So let me go ahead and do that right here, first thing. And then in here, what we're gonna do is to create the basic infrastructure for a website. This is the same process that you would typically go through for creating any website with CyberPanel. So what we're going to do is go to websites, create website over here, and we're going to go through this process, default package, admin is the owner, the domain name. Um, as you can see here, we're working with site1.xyz, so that's our domain name. I'm going to say Tony at Tony Teaches Tech for my email address, and the PHP version is going to be the latest version, which uh, doesn't really matter too much since we're going to be using Python. Okay, so we'll create that website, and then when that's finished, um, we will have the basic infrastructure for that uh, that website set up for us on the back end. So this is actually going to require us to log in via SSH to our web server. So I'm going to open up a terminal window here and do that. So let me get that set up real quick. So we'll do SSH um, root at site1.xyz. And this might be different for you depending on your credentials and all that stuff. But um, now I'm on the server here on the uh, the back end of site1.xyz. On here, what we want to do is install a few packages. So let's do um, apt get install build essential uh, because we will be, um, and if you already have that, it looks like, but just to make sure you have that, we will be building from source uh, something, which you'll see in a little bit. And then apt get install python3 dev. And already have that, so we're good to go. Um, now, what we would, what we need to do here is to get Lightspeed's web server gateway interface implementation. So um, this is from the LightspeedTech.com website. It's an it's an official package. At this time, it's um, version 1.7. So we just want to use the curl command to get that onto our local machine here. I guess it's not our local machine; it's the remote machine. And then we have that archive file here. Um, what we want to do is extract that with tar xf and then the name of the file and then now we have a directory with those contents in there so let's go into that directory and in here um, we if you're not familiar with the build process on linux i'll just walk you through that real quick so um let's 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 call let's use python to configure this so that's the first step is configuring um, that's done, and then we call the make command, and that's going to go ahead and uh, make this, build this for our system. And then what we have here is the executable for the web server gateway interface. So we can copy that into a directory, um, into um, our user local lsws, and then our fast CGI bin directory. And we will reference this path later um, back in the cyber panel hosting control panel. Okay, so that's that's it as far as setting up um, the web server gateway interface, which is a critical part. It's basically like the bridge between um, Django, Python, and the Lightspeed server. Um, anyway, let's go uh, set up a virtual environment. So we can do that with virtual env dash dash system site packages and then we're going to put that in home the name of your domain name for me it's site one and then public html um, so that's going to do its thing and then we can execute we can um, activate that virtual environment with source and then giving it a path to the um, directory that we just created and it, honestly that this this putting this in the public HTML directory might, it, I'll admit, it's not the best location for it. So you can put this wherever you want on your system. I'm just putting it here for the sake of demonstration. So we're gonna activate that. And you can see that we have activated that um, uh, virtual environment. Okay, and, and just to be 100% clear here, the point of a virtual environment is so that you use that copy of Python rather than the system version of Python. So you can have multiple different versions of Python with different virtual environments. Okay, anyway, um, now that we have that all set up, let's go ahead and call pip and install Django. So that's gonna do its thing, and just a couple seconds later, we will be good to go. 
Um, what we want to do now is to create our Django project, and we can do that. Uh, let's just make sure we are in the um, user or the home, the name of your domain name, and then the public HTML directory. In here, we want to create our Django admin. Um, we want to we want to call the Django admin command to create our Django project. So we can do that with Django dash admin start project. And I'm just going to call mine demo proj. Hit enter. And what that's going to do is to create this demo project directory. Um, in here, let's just go in there. Just You should be familiar with this from other Django projects. But in here, I have the basic infrastructure for that. Um, what we want to do is to edit the demo project settings file and under allowed host. Um, just again, just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to allow all hosts with the, the star, the asterisk here. Okay, so um, you, you can continue on with the typical Django process, like starting an app and all that stuff. Uh, but again, for the sake of this demonstration, we will leave it at that. But you can come back in here to do any of that. What we're going to do now is to go back in the cyber panel and configure um, our domain name, our site, site1.xyz, to interact with um, Django at this point. So let's minimize this. And what we, want to go, what we want to do is to go over here to the websites and uh, look at our websites and we'll find the only website at this point, which is site1.xyz. We'll uh, click on this manage link up here. And what we're gonna do is modify our virtual hosts in here. So if we come down here in the configuration sections, you'll see the vhost conf file. So let's look at that and you'll have some data in here already, but what we want to do is come down to the bottom and add the following code snippet. And I'll have this linked for you guys in the description below so you don't have to type it off the screen. Um, modify it as necessary, but as you can see, we're referencing our, the directory path to home, site one, public HTML, and then the name of our Django uh, project. And then we're referencing the web server gateway interface uh, for Lightspeed that we uh, built earlier. The application type is a web server gateway interface. This is where the web server gateway interface file is, and that's part of um, what we created when we generated the demo project with the Django admin command. And um, just a couple other things, like this is where our Python binary is located based on our virtual environment and our Python home directory. So let's go ahead and save that. And it's doing its thing, it's thinking. Uh, configuration has saved. So let's go into a new tab here and go to site1.xyz. And you'll see that we have our Django. This is like the default landing page for a new project with Django, um, meaning it's working. This is good. Um, from this point, you can check out other videos on how to proceed with building a Python website with Django. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me in the future, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.